What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Ultimate Team video and uh, as you can see on the screen this is <laughs> is not going to be easy. Um, it costs about I guess if you were to buy the shit the prices might have gone down a little bit but there is another way to get cam. Um, you have to add 20 elite players uh, from the draft uh, to the set to get 99 overall cam but what it costs to do that set it's just like any other set in Madden um, and it's just like any other set in Ultimate Team it costs just about uh, as much to do the set if not more than to just go on the auction house and buy the actual card so obviously uh, ignore Cameron Jordan right there uh, four million is the cheapest price right now your boy is never gonna have that much that many coins so I guess what we're gonna have to do is wait um, Go over his stats right quick. You see, he has conductor, gunslinger, and chain mover times two, which will improve the chain mover will improve his throw accuracy, short and mid. And uh, of course, conductor means that um, he can uh, make hot route a bunch of hot routes at once, and gunslinger means he throws the ball harder. Um, and like, see, let's see his stats: 93 speed, 93 awareness. Uh, 97 throw power, uh, throw accuracy short, 96, 95 throw mid, 92 throw deep, 92 play action, and 96 throw on the run. That's pretty dang good, guys. Um, let's see, 80, the stats on this card are sick, to be honest. He's got 97 acceleration, 95 agility, uh, 93 awareness, 91 carrying. That is like the best carrying that a quarterback in the game can have. And look at look right here, 93 jumping. You can jump over that. You can actually dive in the end zone like Cam Newton actually does in real life. That's pretty nice. And he's got 86 trucking. That's impressive, that's impressive for a quarterback. Um, uh, 93 elusiveness. His ball carrier vision has always been great. 90 stiff arm, guys. Now, look, this is a quarterback. A quarter back with 90 stiff arm 93 spin move 94 juke move um, this card is just insane um, 96 stamina uh, of course you saw all those these stats right here at the front of the card this card is sick like beyond sick like if I had 4 million I would probably buy him right now to be honest I really would I want this card that bad but unfortunately uh, if I bought the coins it would cost me a fortune uh, more than I have uh, which sucks and right now my main basis of making coins is working on the head-to-head -head season objectives I only have to get the passing yards in and then I'll get 18,000 coins and five competitor badges and since that's the last objective I have to complete I'll get like a pack of 20 competitive badges, quick sell all those, adds up to about 50, 70K. So we'll be, uh, we'll be in the 400K range, still not where we need to be. But if there's anybody out there that, if I have any subscribers that have Cam and just don't want him, um, I hate to sound like a beggar, but can you help, help a bro out, bro, like seriously. I, I really don't trade. I don't really don't mess with the auction with the trade block, but I'm willing to start. I'll trade whatever you want for that card. Um, well, not whatever you want, but I mean, I mean, the people I have on my team, I feel like like because I've had some people try to wager me for a player. I'm like nah, bro, because the reason why is because. Um, I feel like, because I'm not a guy, I'm not your normal YouTuber that just puts, that ch chunks a bunch of money into this game every weekend. I just don't have the money to do that. Y'all know that. But the reason I don't do that is because I feel like I've really worked hard to earn the players that I have. And why would I just want to take a gamble and throw it all away? You know what I mean? Like, that's why I don't do player wagers. Now, coin wagers... If I had enough coins consistent, if I had, if I consistently had like a million coins, then yeah, sure, I would do like a hundred k wager or something like a uh, game of powerhouse does. But um, you know that that's why I don't do wagers because 
uh, not that I'm not confident in my game, but that I just feel like I've worked so hard for what I have, and I would hate to see that all go away just because of some EABS, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, y'all y'all can relate, I'm sure. But anyways, um, this card looks sick. It's clearly the best quarterback card in the game, arguably. I mean, people still say Michael Vick would be, be is better, but in my opinion, he's not. He may be faster than Cam, but... I think Cam's Cam's throwing stats speak for themselves. Uh, but uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me going over this card. Um, actually, let me go over the set to uh, explain to you. Like, let me show you the set. So here is the set, and um, it might have been a good set to do uh, back when the promo first dropped last night. But let me show you how hard it is and how pointless it is to do this set. Yes, it's an easier way to get him. And if you have the coins to do it, then and you like doing sets, but just knock yourself out. But let me show you. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about with these sets. Look at these. Okay, they've gone down a lot, but um, they've gone down a lot since last night. But basically, um, let's see. Let me get my phone here. Let's see, let's get this math done. So, if I, let's see, 160,000 is like the cheapest player. Times that by 20, that's 3 million coins right there. That's 3,200,000 coins to do that 20 times, I think, right? I don't know. My math may be wrong, but the point is, every set that comes out in Madden, is just about the same uh, concept. It's, I mean, you might as well go to the auction house and buy him because that's how much he's going for right now, pretty much. And I mean, unless you just you're just a set freak. I mean, you just love doing set, and I would definitely recommend doing the set. But you can see, I mean, I could afford I could afford to buy three of these players, probably. And but but to do that 20 times, that's just crazy. Like. That's a three million coin set. Now, if my math's wrong, just y'all roast me. I've never been good at math, but that's that's my point. You know, um, I wish that I didn't have to wait until the game until Madden 18's almost ready to come out to get Cam, because I have a feeling that's what's might that's what might happen. But anyways, I mean, you could go through these players. Uh, there's all kinds. There's O.J. Howard. Um, this middle linebacker looks pretty nice. He has 88 speed. He's a good, he's a good user, and he has hot hands. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. And we have a bunch of DBs. Um, let's see, there's T.J. Watt, and a bunch of people might have the, him on his team. He doesn't have the stats of a 96 overall card, but you know how EA is this year. Um, See, we have a quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, um, 82 speed. Ah. Um, there's the Panthers' run, new running back, Christian McCaffrey. That card actually does look nice. Um, I wouldn't say he's worth the price that he is, but you know what? I mean, if I, I might try him out one day. Uh, one day. I mean, you never know. After we get Cam, though. I mean, that's, he's the number one priority right now. And here's Leonard Fournette. Um, I wish we would have gotten Leonard Fournette, to be honest. He's more of a downhill runner. He fits our offense. But I'm not saying that, that McCaffrey's not good. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, can't really be mad with either of the pick with Fournette or McCaffrey. They're both a bunch of beasts. So you see he has bad already, bruising back. And 93 speed, 96 trucking. That's really good. Um, so, yeah. But, um... Anyways, guys, that's my little short. That's just my short little rant about EA sets and Cam. Um, just to give you a little, uh, a pi I guess just to give you a picture of how long and hard this is going to take. And I appreciate any help that my subscribers want to give to me or anybody that watches my videos. Feel free to comment and with any suggestions on how to do it easier. And as always, I'm out. See you next time.